Hey everyone, it's Jen. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is a tutorial on how to make the Jordan 1 Mid Pete Mondrian Custom. This was inspired by Nike SB's Dunk Low version, which released back in 2008. The design is taken from Dutch artist Pete Mondrian's painting called The Composition with Red, Blue, and Yellow. The base shoe is a women's Jordan 1 Mid. I'll leave a link to buy them down below. The all-white upper with dark iridescent underlays is the perfect canvas for this custom. For the paint used, I went with the three primary colors, yellow, blue, and red. I also used flat black, duller to reduce the shine in the primary colors, and leather preparer and deglazer. I'll leave links to each product down below as well. The first step is to use the leather preparer and deglazer on the areas you'll be painting. I typically don't tape off areas mainly because I just like painting without it, but if you're just starting out, use tape to prevent paint from getting onto unwanted areas. This is all preference, but I added a little duller to each paint so the finish isn't too shiny. You can skip this step, it's completely up to you. I applied about 5-6 to six thin coats of paint and used a blow dryer in between each coat. Take your time painting around the edges if you're not using tape. If you do get paint on an area by accident, you can use acetone to remove it. And this is the finished custom. The dark iridescent underlays on the base shoe work so well for this because it mirrors the black lines from Mondrian's painting along with the laces and they didn't have to be painted or customized. Lastly, you can apply acrylic finisher to protect the paint. That wraps up the video. Check out the on foot and let me know if you're feeling these or not. And thanks for watching. the ball. I mean, 
somebody in, in a magic uniform, uh, uh, even if I'm standing in Gundy, I consider maybe pulling Matt Barnes out and having a discussion with him because at the end of the day, we need you on the floor. You're not going to get into the head of Kobe Bryant.